Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe if you like the content. Suya. Grilled skewers of meat marinated in spicy peanut-based seasoning. Suya is a beloved and iconic street food in Nigeria that's renowned for its intense flavors and aromatic spices. This grilled meat delicacy is a favorite among locals and visitors alike. Here's a deeper look into suya. Ingredients and preparation. Meat. Suya can be made with various meats such as beef, chicken, goat, or even offal like liver. The meat is thinly sliced or cut into small chunks for grilling. Suya Spice Blend. The heart of suya lies in its spice mix, often referred to as suya spice or yaji. The blend typically includes ground peanuts, ground nuts, chili peppers, ginger, garlic, paprika, onion powder, and other spices. The spice mixture is what gives suya its signature heat and flavor. Marination. The meat is generously coated with the suya spice mix, which imparts a rich and fiery flavor. Some variations of suya also involve brushing the meat with a bit of oil before grilling. Skewering. The seasoned meat is then threaded onto skewers, either wooden or metal, for grilling. Grilling. Suya is traditionally grilled over an open flame or charcoal grill. The meat is cooked on the grill until it's charred on the edges, imparting a smoky flavor to the dish. The heat of the grill enhances the spiciness of the suya spice blend, creating a harmonious balance between heat and savory goodness. Serving and accompaniments. Suya is typically served by street vendors, especially in the evenings when people are looking for a flavorful snack or light meal. It's often presented on a skewer or placed in a newspaper cone. Suya is often enjoyed with the following accompaniments. Onions and tomatoes. Sliced onions and tomatoes are commonly served alongside suya to provide freshness and a cooling contrast to the spiciness. Yaji sprinkles. Additional sprinkles of the suya spice blend can be added for those who want an extra kick. Cultural significance. Suya isn't just a food, it's a cultural experience. The act of enjoying suya with friends, family, or even strangers on the street fosters a sense of community and camaraderie. Suya spots become gathering places where people chat, share stories, and bond over their love for this savory delight. Suya exemplifies Nigeria's vibrant street food culture, capturing the essence of the country's bold flavors, diverse ingredients, and the joy of sharing food in a communal setting. Puff Puff. Deep fried dough balls that are slightly sweet and airy. Puff Puff is a popular and beloved street food in Nigeria known for its sweet and slightly crispy exterior with a soft and airy interior. Puff puff is a type of deep-fried dough that's enjoyed as a snack or dessert. It's a staple at celebrations, gatherings, and as a treat during everyday life. Ingredients and preparation. The ingredients for puff puff are simple and readily available. Flour. All-purpose flour is the base ingredient. Sugar. Sugar is used to sweeten the dough. Yeast. Yeast helps the dough rise and develop its airy texture. Water. Water is used to create the dough. Optional ingredients. Some variations may include a pinch of nutmeg, vanilla extract, or grated coconut for added flavor. Steps. Mixing. The flour, sugar, and yeast are combined in a bowl. Water is gradually added while mixing to form a smooth and elastic batter. Fermentation. The batter is covered and left to rest and rise for a period, usually around an hour. This fermentation process gives puff puff its airy texture. Frying. Oil is heated in a deep skillet or pot. Spoonfuls of the batter are dropped into the hot oil, and the dough puffs up and fries until golden brown. The dough nuts are turned to ensure even frying. Draining. Once cooked, the puff puff doughnuts are removed from the oil and placed on paper towels to drain excess oil. Serving and enjoyment. Puff puff is often enjoyed as a snack or dessert. It's served warm and is best when freshly fried. Puff puff can be enjoyed on its own or with a variety of accompaniments. Powdered sugar. Puff puff can be dusted with powdered sugar for added sweetness. Chocolate sauce. Some variations include dipping puff puff into chocolate sauce. Spreads. They can be spread with Nutella or other sweet spreads. Cultural significance. Puff puff is not only a delicious treat but also a symbol of celebration and sharing. It's commonly found at Nigerian parties, events, and gatherings, where people enjoy the simple pleasure of biting into a warm and puffy donut. Puff Puff embodies the joy of Nigerian street food culture, where flavorsome treats like this create memorable moments and bring people together. Moimoy. 
Steamed bean pudding made with ground peeled beans, peppers, and spices. Moi moi, also spelled as mwa mwa, is a traditional Nigerian dish that's often enjoyed as a street food and also commonly prepared at home. Moi moi is a steamed bean pudding made from grounded peeled beans, peppers, onions, and spices. It's known for its unique flavor and texture, making it a favorite among Nigerians. Ingredients and preparation. The key ingredients for making moi moi include beans. Usually black-eyed peas are used, but other types of beans can also be used. Peppers. Red bell peppers or scotch bonnet peppers are used to add spiciness and flavor. Onions. Onions add savory depth to the dish. Oil. A small amount of oil is added to the mixture for moisture and flavor. Spices. Spices like ground crayfish, ground nutmeg, and bouillon cubes are commonly used. Flavor enhancers. Other flavor enhancers might include cooked fish, prawns, or eggs. Steps. Preparation of beans. The beans are soaked in water to soften them. Then, the outer skin is removed to reveal the peeled beans. Blending. The peeled beans are blended with peppers, onions, and other flavorings to create a smooth and thick batter. Seasoning. Spices, oil, and other optional ingredients are added to the batter and mixed well. Steaming. The batter is poured into containers or leaves, like banana leaves, for steaming. It's then placed in a pot with water and steamed until the moi moi is firm and cooked through. Serving and enjoyment. Moi moi is served as a savory dish and can be enjoyed on its own or with various accompaniments. Rice. It's often served with rice as a main course. Bread. Moi moi can be eaten with bread as a snack or light meal. Stews and sauces. It's commonly paired with stews, sauces, or other Nigerian dishes. Cultural significance. Moi moi is more than just a dish. It's a symbol of Nigerian culinary culture and traditions. It's served at celebrations, family gatherings, and special occasions. The process of making moi moi can vary from region to region and from household to household, and it's often considered a labor of love. Whether enjoyed at home or from street vendors, moi moi captures the essence of Nigerian cuisine with its rich flavors, wholesome ingredients, and the spirit of togetherness that it brings to meals and festivities. Gala. Sausage roll filled with spiced meat and often enjoyed with soft drinks. Gala is a popular and widely recognized street food in Nigeria. It's a type of sausage roll that has become a staple snack for many Nigerians, especially during commutes, breaks, or as a convenient on-the-go treat. Gala is known for its accessibility, affordability, and savory flavors. Ingredients and preparation. The ingredients for making gala include pastry dough. Puff pastry or a similar dough is used to encase the filling. Filling. The filling typically consists of spiced meat, often a mixture of beef and chicken, combined with various seasonings, herbs, and spices. The meat mixture is often cooked and seasoned before being wrapped in the pastry. Steps. Preparation of filling. The meat is cooked, seasoned, and spiced to create a flavorful mixture. Assembly. The pastry dough is rolled out, and portions of the meat mixture are placed on one side of the dough. Rolling. The pastry is folded over the meat to encase it, and the edges are sealed to create a cylindrical shape. Cutting and baking. The pastry is cut into smaller portions, and the individual pieces are baked until they are golden brown and the pastry is flaky. Serving and enjoyment. Gala is typically sold by street vendors, at kiosks, and even in small shops. It's a quick and convenient snack that can be enjoyed on its own or with condiments such as ketchup or pepper sauce. Gala's portable and ready-to-eat nature makes it a go-to option for people looking for a filling snack during their busy schedules. Cultural significance. Gala has become a recognizable part of Nigerian street food culture. It's not just a snack, it's also a cultural symbol that has found its place in the daily lives of many Nigerians. Gala is often associated with commuting, school breaks, and other activities, making it a food that's woven into the fabric of Nigerian urban life. In addition to its convenience, Gala also reflects the blending of local tastes with global influences, as it draws inspiration from the concept of sausage rolls found in other parts of the world. Overall, Gala captures the essence of Nigerian street food by offering a savory, satisfying, and readily accessible treat. Roasted Maize Grilled or roasted maize, corn, on the cob, often seasoned with spices. Roasted maize is a simple and beloved street food in Nigeria that's cherished for its natural sweetness and smoky flavor. 
Maize, commonly known as corn, is a staple crop in Nigeria, and roasting it brings out its inherent sweetness and adds a delightful smokiness. This street food is commonly enjoyed by people of all ages, whether as a quick snack or a light meal. Preparation. The preparation of roasted maize is quite straightforward. Selecting maize. Choose fresh and mature maize on the cob. The corn should be fully developed but not overly mature. Husking. Remove the outer husks and silk strands from the corn cobs, leaving the kernels exposed. Seasoning. Some vendors may brush the corn with a little oil or butter to enhance the roasting process and add flavor. However, many roasted maize vendors rely solely on the natural sweetness and smoky flavor of the maize itself. Roasting. Roasting maize is typically done over an open flame or on a grill. Open flame. The corn cobs are often skewered on sticks or metal rods, and then they're held over an open flame, such as a charcoal fire. They are turned occasionally to ensure even roasting. Grill. The corn can also be placed directly on a barbecue grill, where they'll roast over the heat. The roasting process caramelizes the natural sugars in the corn, resulting in a sweet and slightly charred flavor. Serving and enjoyment. Roasted maize is often enjoyed as a snack or light meal. It's usually served hot and can be eaten right off the cob or cut into smaller pieces. Some people enjoy their roasted maize with a sprinkle of salt or spices for an extra kick. The simplicity of roasted maize lies in its minimal preparation and focus on celebrating the deliciousness of fresh, locally sourced ingredients. Cultural significance. Roasted maize is more than just a street food. It's a symbol of comfort and tradition. It's a common sight in bustling Nigerian markets, roadside stalls, and even during local festivities. The act of enjoying roasted maize on the go or while socializing with others reflects the country's vibrant street food culture and the joy of savoring a classic, timeless treat.